We are in my 19 F-150 Ford King Ranch, which is equipped with the Bang & Olufsen Premium Sound System. This is my center channel speaker. You can see it's got the little insignia there. And over here are my front tweeters. Those tweeters, in my opinion, are just not up to par. I like bright front stage. This vehicle has a ton of low end, but not much on the front. So we're gonna replace both of these tweeters right now. These are the tweeters that I've chosen to retrofit my front stage tweeters with. These are CT2, it's a 28 millimeter, it's a silk dome tweeter made by Massive Audio. And I should probably use products I represent, right? So being a massive dealer, this is one of the perks. So these here are the tweeters and they should fit in there just about perfectly. They're gonna be mounted up in there pretty easily with some black hot glue, which I'll show you. And also another important thing is that they don't have those gigantic passive crossover networks, which eliminate wattage and they also take up a lot of space so we don't want either one of those so these here are the high pass filters which i'm going to use to protect the tweeter and also control the output from the head unit so that way these things play the exact frequencies they are designed to in the front stage where i'm going to make mounting them at first thing we want to do is, is pop these plastic covers out from the factory a pillars you pry that out there and there's your there's your bolt you have one here up on the top and you have another one located down below pull out those two and then you can basically pop this panel right out that's your top do the same thing on the bottom once you got your two bolts out you just want to take this weather strip and just grab it from behind pull down on it it should look kind of like this then on the top is going to be one clip. Once you get that, you pull straight up and out. And then you can access the tweeter behind. Mounting your tweeters from the back side. Now will be a really good time to plug in your hot glue gun and just let that set up and get super hot. Set it on the high temperature. If you have a setting for low and high, you're going to want this on the high setting. Next thing you want to do is you're going to, if you have a multimeter, you can use it in such a way where you're going to want to have it set to continuity, which is going to look like this. So when you tap the two leads, you'll get that audible tone. Now on here on the tweeter, you'll see that there's a capacitor. That is the positive post. You want to make sure that on the inside of the plug, that you're getting that tone to make sure and verify that this side here on the left side, on the top of the plug, in my case on the Ford, the white without the stripe is the positive post. This side here is going to be the negative side, so wire it accordingly. That's super important if you want this thing to work properly. And then on your crossovers that were included with your new tweeters, almost on 99% of them, the stripe will be positive, but that's the, that's the side, the positive side that you want to run through the capacitor. Super important for proper performance of the speaker. So make sure you do that. Boop. Next step here is to mount these tweeters on the inside. So what I've done is I screwed the back of the surface mount it's my tweeter and I'm going to position it in here it actually just works out so nice where it lays like kind of like right on top of this which is good because it'll kind of give the sound a little bit angled towards the driver which is preferred and then I'll have my wires going down towards the crossover and I'm just gonna take the hot glue gun right over here and give that a nice you know ring around there to keep it in there nice and solid after all mounted in there hot glued leads are running straight down capacitor is put in line with the positive on the white stripe and I'm going to take this I'm going to wire this up into the two wires for the tweeter in the vehicle stock location then I'm going to button this up get this mounted and I'm going to test the left side and listen to it and compare it to the right before I proceed and finish up and button up the whole job okay so I'm going to make my connections from my tweeter to the factory location I am not a fan of cutting the factory plugs so what I use is my little tool here this is called an insulation stripper so here's the factory plug for the tweeter. This here is my negative, that's my positive. The white stripe is a negative. And I got two inches of wire stripped on my factory tweeter, my new tweeter, I should say. Right over there, coming from the tweeter, the capacitor is in line there, and here's the end. So you basically just take these. Which one is my positive? This is my positive, this is my negative. You just basically put that in there. I wrap it around, squeeze it, and then I insulate it. And that's pretty much how I've always made all my connections and it's a really secure way of doing one. So if you're ever gonna use wire on wire, metal on metal connections like this, this is the way to do it.
by far the preferred professional method to do it. And that thing will never come back out. And you can, it's reversible. So if you ever want to put the factory back in, you can undo this very easily. No messy solder to deal with. Fresh, 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 fresh. No, Mr. B has the cash money and the gold.